Hello everyone, it's Shannon, and today I come to you from my backyard of my summer home. I wanted to do a kind of high school advice video today for you all, and kind of tell you some tips that I have if you're just going into high school or even middle school, um, because I'm going into my senior year and I think it could be helpful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that the traffic isn't too loud and bothersome, but yeah, I hope that it helps you in some way and that you find it useful in your high school endeavors. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get started. So I have a list of eight things in no particular order that I came up with on my phone here in my notes. So I am going to tell you all of those tips that I have and I hope that they help you. So the first tip that I have for you guys is to not be afraid to make friends and reach out to other people. I know that if you're shy, it might seem really hard to go up to someone and say, hi, I'm Shannon and just start a conversation, but it really is what helps you make friends. When you're outgoing, they'll be more outgoing. And my best friend, Kat, told me once that if people want to make friends, it's really easy to make friends with them. So try to find people that want to have more friends and make friends with them. And also try to make sure those friendships are genuine because that's really important. My second tip is with schoolwork, do not procrastinate. I am guilty of this at times in my high school career and I have found that I am so much happier if I get the work done right when I get it and I don't have to be scrambling at 1am to finish this assignment and I don't feel awful if I get it done in the first place. So if you get it done like right after school, you can hang out with your friends for the evening and you'll be fine. If you get it done early in the week, you'll have the weekend free to hang out and all of that. So just remember to do your schoolwork as soon as you possibly can. I know it's hard and I know the motivation is hard to get to do that, but I promise it will make you happier and you'll have higher grades if you don't procrastinate. Be yourself and realize that popularity is not important. I have found in my experience that if you try to be popular, it's not going to make you happy and you're not going to make as many genuine friends. At the same time, I want you to realize that popular people aren't bad people either. They're just well liked. So you should be open to making friends with anyone, but don't just try to make friends with people that are popular in order to boost your own popularity because that's not going to make you happy. And a lot of the time it won't let you be yourself if you're trying to achieve this model look for people to look up to you and to make you the popular kid that doesn't make you happy or being yourself. So just be yourself. And if that's a cheerleader and you're super popular, that's fine, just be yourself. My fourth tip is to be kind and not judge other people. Everyone, literally everyone in high school is going through their own battle. And everyone in the entire world, no matter what age you are, so you need to realize before you criticize someone or say that they're not pretty enough or anything about another person, before you say anything, realize that they're probably going through something that you have no idea about and it's probably really hard for them because everyone has their own struggles and no one is an exception to that. So. Just think of that before you say anything about someone and before you do anything. Just be kind and think about what they might be going through before that. My fifth tip is also for schoolwork and it's to turn things in on time and keep up in class. If you get behind, it's really, really hard to make up all the work. Even if you're like sick, try to get it done on the day you're sick. You can email your teachers, they'll probably put it on their website, and you can do the work from home as much as possible and try to get 
makeup work done as quickly as possible because it's super, super hard and takes a lot of time and effort that you could be spending with your friends or doing something you love and you have to spend it making up all this work. So try to keep up the best that you can and don't get behind in school because it's really hard to catch back up. My sixth tip is to have a planner and use it because it is super important to remember all your assignments and keep track of things in order to do well in school. I could not have survived these past three years without my planner. I am super forgetful. That's why I make lists when I do my videos and everything. But you have to keep track of it at least in a way that works for you. If that's not a planner, at least write it down somewhere because you need to be able to look at that list of things you need to do. And I find it really helpful for me to also color code things so that I can tell which things are prioritized. I kind of put things that are higher priority and a different color than those that are lower priority and are due later. So just try to make sure you write down your homework every day and just keep track of things in a planner because it's super helpful and you'll be grateful that you did because it will keep you up in your classes and you'll be able to have more time to spend on things that you enjoy. My next tip is to wear what you like, do your makeup how you like or don't, and just be yourself and be confident in your appearance because you choose how you look and there are parts that you can't choose. You can't choose your natural body type or your metabolism or your facial structure or your eye color or hair color. I guess you can dye it, but you know what I mean, that you can't change what you came with but you can choose how you dress and how you style yourself and you need to be confident in what you have I know it's a long journey it took me from seventh grade to probably halfway through ninth grade to really feel confident in my body and I think that while it is such a long journey and it's a really hard thing I think you should try to be confident in yourself. Do what you love with your appearance. Like, if you love makeup, do your makeup. Don't care if people say it's too much or too little. Don't let people hurt you with their words when it's what you choose and what you like. Just try to remember that it's more important that you like it than it is what they think. My next tip is to have friends that really love you for who you are and will stand up for you and that you also love and will stand up for. Friendship is a two-way street and it's really important that you understand that. But friendship is so important in high school because it gets you through the hard stuff and makes the good stuff even better. You're able to spend time with these people that you really love and they can help you enjoy high school so much more than you would without good friends. So when you're trying to make friends and when you're reaching out to new people, like I said, you can, you should just remember to try to find these people that are going to support you and that you can support and that you really care about and that care about you. Cause it's so important during high school to have those important friendships. So those are all the tips I'm sharing with you today. I hope that they were helpful for you and I hope that you're not too disappointed that I'm doing a back to school video because I am going back to school this week when you're watching this, which is crazy. But I hope these are really helpful for you because I know if I had known these things when I was going into high school, I would have been a lot better off but I'm glad I learned these lessons over time and learned to make genuine friends and keep up with my schoolwork and everything. So I hope that you take these to heart and try your best to make good friends and new friends and just put yourself out there and try to be braver this year. That's my goal for this school year is to just be more confident and braver. So I hope these tips helped you and I will see you next Tuesday with another new video. Bye!